All right, hey there YouTube. So today I'm gonna make a quick attach with some quick attach plates that I bought from uh, Amazon. They're universal quick attach plates. So this is the application right here. Uh, basically this is a 41 horsepower Mahindra tractor, uh, but it's a 2000 model or, or 99, I can't remember. But anyway, it comes with these uh, two hitch pins in order to uh, take off this forklift or add on the bucket. So uh, what I wanna do is uh, weld up a quick attach plate for it, which I bought the universal pieces right here, but I'll show you here in a second. But to get this off, you have to pull these snap pins. So you got one, two, uh, three, four, just to, get, just to get this thing off of there. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I already cut off uh, these hitch pins or these pins. This is the bucket that I did cut the plate off of here because I tried to reuse uh, these uh, triangle shapes right here that were that used to be right there with the pins plates from the tractor bucket. And I bought this uh, black piece here. This is the universal quick attach coupler. And I got a, a left hand and a right hand one right here. They came in a pair. Then I also bought the face plate for it, which is right here. Uh, that way I can get it measured up square and make sure that it fits and that's the correct dimensions. But uh, the problem here is that the hitch pins that go with, that I've normally been using on this tractor uh, go through here, through here, and you can see once I tacked it up, uh, there's no clearance here for the pin to go through and latch. Uh, but uh, the way I'm doing it will utilize the factory pins and I don't want to weld it directly to the tractor at least I'll be able to put it back to factory if I want so uh, but these plates came off of the uh, tractor bucket which I'll show you all right so what I'm doing here is I'm gonna take out the right hand side uh, universal skid steer plate uh, that way I can get a measurement on the minimum length of flat metal that I'll need to make those uh, vertical hitch plates that accept the pins and that way after I get the minimum length that I need I can always cut out to that shape uh, so what I measured that was to be 16 inches so then I come over here and I'm measuring out uh, four sections that are 16 inches because I'll need two on each receiver plate universal hitch for the skid steer hitch uh, two on each side so I need four plates and then I'll cut those out to shape and drill the holes, one inch holes, to accept the tractor pins. All right, so coming over here to the welder, gonna get the tarp off, uh, that way I can run my Lincoln Tomahawk 375 Air uh, plasma cutter and cut out those plates to length. Uh, I always keep it under a tarp that way it keeps the welder's paint uh, real nice and shiny and it won't get all sun faded on me. Uh, but always, always, always make sure you check your oil before you start your new machine. And on this machine, it has the, the oil dipstick on the top hand side. Look at there, being a good welder, checking your oil before you get started, and that way you'll never have any problems. So what I got here is a, uh, it's about a 24 foot long heavy duty 240 volt uh, extension cord that I used to run off the, the Eagle 10,000 and run that to my plasma cutter as a power source.
Alright, so once I got the generator turned on and the power cord ran, I'm just uh, setting up the pl plasma cutter. And of course, every time I put this thing away, the cords always get tangled up, so it's always a pain. But once I get it set up, there's really not much to it. Right, so what I did here is I held up the plate I just cut out to the side profile of the universal coupler and I used a uh, chalk to trace out the inside shape of the inner coupler and that way it transferred the line onto the plate and now I'm cutting it out with the plasma cutter. That way it'll fit that contour perfectly once it's cut out. And then once I got that pattern, I did the same thing on all four plates. That way they were all the same and they all fit the coupler on the inside. All right, this, so this is what I got made so far. Basically uh, fabricated this plate right here and I uh, notched it out with my plasma cutter right there and then this is the factory edge right there and then I notched it out here. <clears throat> I drilled one inch holes for this side and this side and I basically made this plate times four and you got the same thing on this side over here. And these plates right here, it, you can see it's painted actually. Uh, it's a little rusty though right now, but this plate was manufactured and I just bought it off of Amazon. It came with the handle, the spring, the hinge, and the pin that goes down uh, onto the quick hitch. So when I pull it up, that's what it looks like. That's what the handle looks like in the up position, and you just push it down. Uh, but basically getting those in alignment on the tractor so it can accept a skid steer plate. Uh, and that way I can do a quick attach before I had to remove all four pins. Uh, and oops, move all four pins and the snap ring on each one to get it off. So this is what the old tractor hookup looked like. I had to remove all four pins and you had a choice. Well, you have the bottom pin and you had a choice to use the bottom or the top on the top for your tilt and leverage and tractor size. It's kind of universal, but uh, no quick attach on this. So you had to remove four pins just to change out the front implement.
Here's what the final thing looks like. So, got a nice good weld bead all the way down that side. Wraps around. I was able to weld on the inside a little bit and get a long electrode in there, but I might take it uh, take these out one day, and uh, so I can get further down inside of there. But I did make sure that I got the inside of the top and on this side too. I got the inside on the top in there. Make sure I got that nice and strong. I did take apart these uh, springs and stuff and I got me some 7018 all the way down on the inside of there. Same thing on the other side. I was able to weld all the way across uh, top and bottom of the square tubing all the way around. So that worked out good. And then on the other side too. But I think basically doing this probably saved me uh, close to $1,000, maybe more, in order to buy uh, this type of setup uh, that was, you know, universal onto the tractor or any type of tractor for it to be that width and except a skid steer plate. Uh, I think it's close to 800 and then I still have to modify my implements, so... Now I got it. I did this, and I think these things were only, uh, I can't remember how much they were on Amazon. I had to look it up, but I know it wasn't more than a hundred bucks, so pretty good. Overall, I think it's going to work well. It's going to work real good.